Good evening everyone. Today we are looking at an important topic in economics titled Theory of Consumer Behavior Part 1. Theory of Consumer Behavior Part 1. On that this topic we are going to look at different subtopic and one of them we are going to look at this night is the definition of consumer factors influencing consumer behavior, the utility concept and the law of diminishing marginal utility. These subtopics will be considered under the main topic, the theory of consumer behavior, part one. Let's start with the definition of consumer behavior. And what is consumer behavior? Consumer behavior simply means or refers to the action and the decision process of the people who purchase goods and services for personal consumption. Or you can put it this way, that consumer behavior refers to the mental and emotional process and the physical activities of the people of the people who purchase and use goods and services to satisfy particular needs and wants. So what are the takeaway points from this definition? The takeaway points from this definition is the process or the action of a consumer. The process and action of a consumer and how he purchases, he purchases the goods and services. So these are the takeaway points. So this takes us to the factors influencing consumer behavior. We have three major factors influencing consumer behavior. And one of them is social factor, the second is personal factors, and the third is psychological factors. Under social factors, we have family, we have friend, we have educational level, we have social media, income level. All these have direct effects on in influencing consumer behavior. Then also we have personal factors. What are the personal factors that influence consumer behavior? That is age, that is gender, and that is culture. You can agree with me that when a 10 years old girl or 65 years old woman goes to market, what they are looking for, their choices of purchases must be different, and these have direct effect on their on the consumer, on the consumer pattern. Psychological factor. Under a psychological factor, we are looking at the marketing messages, how a consumer perceives it, how a consumer receives it, and all depends on the attitude. And this will physically or directly affect the consumer behavior. Then we are going to look at another subtopic that is the utility concept. In economies, anytime we hear utility, the word utility, never be confused because the word utility means the total satisfaction the total happiness, the level of satisfaction we derive while consuming any goods or services. Therefore, the utility concept means, means measures not only the character of a goods but also the major consumer reaction to those goods. The economic utility of a good or services is important to understand because it directly influences the demand and the price of that goods or services. So bear this in mind. This takes us to another subtopic, that is the law of diminishing marginal utility. What is law of diminishing marginal utility? The marginal utility of a goods diminishes as an individual consumes more and more units of goods. Or you can say it this way, that in other ways, other ways as a consumer takes more units of goods, the extra utility or satisfaction that he derives from an extra unit of the goods will continue to decrease. What does this mean? Let us give an example or illustrate this in a graphical and understand it more. Yes, dimension return in a graphical illustration of it. Take for example, a consumer is very very hungry and he wants to consume some cups of tea to order to satisfy himself. He decided to take the first cup is not satisfied. Second cup is not satisfied and he continues to take more and more and more until he took the fifth cup. Looking at this graph here, we can see that he is taking more and more cup, that is unit of consumption. The utility, that is the level of satisfaction continues to decline. He take the first cup, the unit, the level of satisfaction becomes 20. He took the second cup, he reduced to 15, the third cup to 10, the fourth, the fourth cup to 15. And it gets saturated and gets satisfied. You could not take more cup of tea anymore. That is to say, 
that is consume more units of consumption is the marginal utility decreases and that is what is exactly illustrated in the graph on the right hand side that is cup of tea a consumer consumes the marginal utility continue to decrease and while the consumptions continue to increase now what have you understand what have you learned in course of the study today we are able to give a definition of consumer behavior when we say that consumer behavior refers to the mental and the emotional process and the physical and the physical activity of the people who purchase and use goods and services to satisfy particular needs and wants under the utility concepts we are also able to establish that utility in economies refers to the total satisfaction we receive from consuming a particular goods or services then we also study or learn that factors influencing consumer behaviors are different and they are social factors, personal factors and psychological factors. So, before we leave, I would like to give you an assignment. The assignment is, explain how social media, income and culture influences consumer behavior. This is end of the